Risk from Italian politics split the markets between asset classes so far this week, with yen shining and the dollar index moving higher as political euro-wide uncertainty prevails. With fresh US-China trade war narratives and a US-North Korea summit having been cancelled by President Trump just recently, market participants looked no further than safe haven yen. Regardless the accelerated repositioning owed to the aforementioned factors, Europe also faces uncertainty on ECB's quantitative easing as well as Spain's political drama, and hence it has seen a decline not seen in 10 months. There is just so much happening in the markets right now from the devaluation of the Turkish lira to the massive correction in oil prices. Let's focus on my favorite and most preferable pairs that may provide good opportunities to investors and traders of all types and style. Euro dollar fell to the 1.1545 strong support yesterday owed to a number of political concerns affecting the European currency. Weakened Italian risk, a slowing EU economy, ECB's stimulus and political uncertainty in Spain are currently affecting and are likely to keep pushing the euro dollar rate lower while traders eye Thursday's inflation figures. Although price saw a rejection, further pressures may push the pair lower to the Fibonacci confluence just below 1.12. This will be more clear within the next few weeks or when and if the 50 Fibonacci surrenders. Dollar moved nearly 180 pips lower against yen on Monday and Tuesday together, as traders jumped into safe haven yen following a ceaseless doubt surrounding the upcoming summit on June 12. In addition, it was because of political risk in Europe that led traders to yen longs, as well as due to the downward revision of the CB consumer in the US. Although an intraday low of 108 was seen, where the 50 Fibonacci be tight, the possibility of a further downside and a break of the set level is probable as investors are at the bottom of the upward channel. The break of the 50 and then the 61.8 golden ratio would provide more clues on that last possible scenario. Price on the daily chart seems to be correcting to complete a full 8 wave cycle. As for my third and last option for today in our midweek update, I would like to talk about the yellow metal, gold as this is also the focal point of attention in the current global risk markets. Concerns over Italy's political drama, the US-China and US-North Korea developments kept the yellow metal stable on Monday as well as Tuesday. Despite the session was active and price moved into a wide range, investors jumped into safe haven yen until the scenery in global capital markets becomes a little bit less sensitive. Price on the daily chart seems to have broken below the descending channel only momentarily, a fake out, a move that is more likely to confirm the end of the spatial cycle at the golden ratio, 61.80 Fibonacci retracement, of the most recent leg up. At the same time, the MACD histogram provides us with a bullish convergence. On other events today, we are expecting the critical Canadian interest rate decision as well as the preliminary GDP figures in the US. Keep a close eye on all those events. Thank you.